Uh, this is the Wholesome Podcast. Wholesome B. Mitch. Wavy Trey with no waves today. <laughs> we got special guest Janessa in the building. Uh, I don't know why Wavy Trey hate the wave. I mean, your waves ain't popping today. What you want me to do? Uh, so Janessa, she's, she got engaged kind of recently. Not too recently. There's you know long engagement. But what I want to know is, so what is, like, you allow, like, your husband, does your husband allow you to, like, have, like, Friends of the opposite sex. Like, what's y'all views in y'all relationship on friends of the opposite sex? Oh, yeah, definitely. The only boundary that we have is I can't be over at their house alone and they can't be over at our house alone. Other than that, I mean, we're, we're very open. We trust each other a lot. But I think that there's just a boundary of not being stupid. And you know that when you're by yourself and things might happen. So just try to prevent that. So, how open is open? Yeah, I mean, first of all, that's pretty open already. So yeah. you're saying like, so y'all can basically you and this friend can basically want to have sex with each other, but as long as y'all not, oh, y'all taking like, it a different way. Okay, so I am bisexual. So my husband is my fiance is totally fine with me like having sex with females, hanging out with females, doing all that stuff. But when it comes to guy friends and stuff like that i'm saying we're fine we can go out to eat or out to the park or something like that and hang out just so not at each other's house yeah we just don't interesting so are you attracted to the other dudes well yes i mean by default everybody attracted I mean, to somebody yeah. yeah i mean just because just because i'm with someone doesn't mean that i'm not attracted to other people. right that's part where it's like so you can have sex with other women the um, husband doesn't care but you can't hang with another dude how would you how you how would you feel about that trey but you, you, you're, you know, engaged. What would your, like, your rules be on friends? Uh, damn, that's pretty tough. Um, it, it depends on. How and let's say your girl, your girl is bisexual as well. So, so what's what? What would your rules be? That would be pretty tough. That'd be tough. Um, maybe, like, if you cool with other females or whatever, that's cool. But. I don't want to feel excluded, maybe, but that's a tough thing because people catch feelings, so mm-hmm. that'd be tough until I'm in that situation. How would you? So you don't know what your rules would be? Uh, I mean, you said a bunch of nothing right there, yeah. besides the stuff. No, nigga, that's tough. I don't know. I don't know until I'm in that situation. Uh, man, my rules are simple. You can't be friends with nobody you're trying to have sex with, or you possibly would have sex with. It's as simple as that to me. I ain't, nah, I'm cool. I'm cool on that. Like, nah. I mean, but if someone has sex with somebody else, then that might not be the person for me then, if you already got no feelings. <clears throat> Cause I ain't trying to just be like the dude be like all oh, straight and shit. So if that's the shit you want, then it is what it is. So then, what would your rule be then? If that's how you feel about it, why? I mean, it ain't no rule. If you want to fuck somebody else, then we. But not you're not engaged. for it. Okay, we this not is engaged. this is how. I well, you saying if you were engaged, we won't be. Uh, <laughs> he's he's drawn a boundary. Now. Right, right. That's his boundary. Um, I feel like though too. I'm very open sexually in a lot of ways. The only boundary that I have is because my husband, my fiance, does not want me to have another penis. <laughs> so right. that's like a boundary that we have unless it's something so with him or a swinger or something like that. You know, something that right, involves right, right. him. So, so why do you think he allows you but, to possibly with other women? Um, is it like, is it a, like is, if he's invited? Oh, okay. <laughs> Like, so, that's a part of me. It, he doesn't... His whole point of view is he doesn't want to limit who I am because mm, right. he can only give me a certain thing. Right. You know? So, do you ever, like, catch feelings for this woman? For these women? Like... Uh, let's be honest. I really... I, I haven't talked to any other female since we've been together yet. Mm. Um, so, I'm not really sure. Right. Do you think that you would? Because, I mean, that's the real thing. You know, you have sex with somebody, you can easily get emotional, get emotionally attached. How do you think that would affect, you know, your rela- your actual relationship? I heard with okay. women, the emotional bond is stronger than what it would be with, with men. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, um, first I will say, my husband will definitely be a polyamorous if it means another female in the relationship. Right, what if she's annoying to him, though? That's and a real thing, too. Handling more than one woman could be, be annoying sometimes. Yeah, we oh, have okay. to be mutual on both parts. It's, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, some of these women be crazy. Yeah, yeah I gotta be careful. Be crazy. Yeah, and then some just be I'm annoying. I'm really picky though too. Like before John <laughs> Anthony, I was single for five years, so like I don't really date around or anything. So when I'm looking at someone, I'm really looking at them. So he know you met with other women. Do he ever want to join in, or how does that work? I mean, 
Obviously, that's a fantasy. Threesomes are probably one of my favorite things, to be honest. But it just hasn't it hasn't been that so far. We have How long have you been together? Um, we've been together for like a year and six months. Oh, y'all only been together a year and six months. You're already engaged? When did y'all get engaged? It's crazy. Um, we got engaged two months after we met. Mm, so <laughs> like two months after we were together. We got engaged. Right. So, dang, that's super quick. Trey, could you... So, we, so we, just to tell you guys, so we were, like, shopping, just normal shopping, and then... He was spinning um, that bag. <laughs> he was spinning that bag, huh? Yeah, but, okay. but, um, no, we were just normal shopping, and then we were, we walked by this, like, jewelry store, and then we just went in. He was like, oh, let's just look at things. And then I tried on this ring it's the first mm. one that i saw the first like, one that i tried it. on and i was like oh this is like the type of ring that i want no girl we engaged type and then he was like oh go to this other store and hang out i'll be there in a little bit mm-hmm. so i went there and i guess he bought the ring because a month later he proposed and he just said that he got the ring and he got nervous like he didn't want to ha- like you know to have it on him and not ask me sorry right so right so he had he to asked do it me right away so he just knew he was the one Yes. So, so I, I'll say. Yeah, that I want to know first. about that though. Like, yeah, I mean, how does that work? How do you know when somebody is the one? Okay, so I'll tell you. For this. you. Oh yeah, definitely. Because it's the difference, probably all three of us. Yeah. So at first, so like I said, I was single for five years before this, so I really didn't give anyone my time. I had my little hoe phase and did all that, and then I was cool being single. How old are you? I'm twenty four. Oh, okay. Twenty five soon. All right, you go ahead and continue. That's one. I'm just curious. Uh huh. Um. But so, for me, the way that we met is he actually just saw me on the street. And we lived, like, a block away from each other. And so, then he just kept going on that street back and forth <laughs> until he saw me again. <laughs> for 13 days, he just went back and forth. And so, yeah, right. <laughs> when I saw him, um, like I said, I wasn't dating. And I really, like, rid off men. Because the last guy that I was kind of seeing a little bit fucked me over. So, I was done. And then he saw me, and he has this pit bull named Blue, a little girl, and she's a 90-pound Tennessee Blue, and um, I asked to pet his dog, and then he was like, will you go to dinner with me on Friday? And it was not smooth at all. It was really not smooth, and I said yes. Right, so at that point, you knew you were in love. No. (laughs) So I said yes, and then we had a horrible first date, and then he sent me, like, these long love messages, all of this stuff. So he was in love already. Oh, he was in love. Oh, okay. And it scared me, because I was like, I've been single for five years. I don't want to trust. Yeah, I don't want to trust this person or anything like that. Um, So then we broke it off for, like, a day. And then I said I Wait, so y'all him. was already in a relationship? So y'all went to dinner? Was well, in, a like in a relationship? He was in love? Not a, like a, in a relationship. It was yeah, unspoken. Relationship. But it was like, eh, for like a month, it was probably we were talking. But, you know, Mm-mm. I don't know. I don't know. And so then after that month, then I was like, okay, I don't need all these big paragraphs. I think you're looking for something that I'm not. And then I didn't talk to him for like a day. He respected me and was like, okay. So I got to stop you. Go so, ahead. Because so, you got to speed it up. At what point did you fall in love? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm saying right after that. Like right after that. So right after you cut him off. So day. right after I cut him off for like a day or two. Day and two. then I was like, oh, I miss him. Like he really was sweet to me. Why didn't I like him? Why didn't I like that he was sweet to me? You know, me? girls don't really like and nice I, people. Yeah. No, it was one of those things where I kind of had to it's check weird. myself. It's weird. Like, I don't want a douchebag. I want someone really nice and who mm. loves me. And so then I gave him a chance. And once I kind of let my guard down, then it was very quick. I just fell in love. So it was a month right after away. that you were in love and I was engaged. Yeah, it was pretty much right after. Yeah. Right wow. Day two. Yeah. Day two. So, two months. So you gave the nice guy a chance. He proposed within a month. And that was that. Two months. Yeah. Okay, Give two the months. nice guy a chance, ladies. Give Tra- the nice guy All right, guy so Trey, what, what do you find to be more productive, being the nice guy or the asshole? I'm sure you've been both. The asshole will get you some pussy sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's been more productive both, for you um, in your life? Productive-wise, it fucked up. It'd probably be better being the asshole. You'd be the nice guy. They don't be fucking with that. What you think? Mm, I mean, I think a mixture of both, you know. 
just be nice to here and there, but then when they think you nice, you just gotta get real cutthroat and savage out of nowhere. And they be like, oh my gosh. I agree. They be like, oh my God, you're so nice and shit, but then why you acting this way? Yeah, and you just gotta keep people on their toes. Yeah. Can't let them think you a sucker. Very true, very true. But not saying he is. It's cool to be a nice guy too. I'm a nice person as well. But sometimes I just gotta throw it out there to throw people off. Yeah, switch it up sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, he switches it up sometimes. That's good. That's keep you on your toes because you, you know, I don't know. It's interesting that, that, I mean, you didn't like him and then now all of a sudden y'all getting married. I, I, I just didn't like him because he nice. gave me so much attention that I felt like I it just made me uncomfortable. I'm like, I've never had this before. So it's kind of a little thing of like, I don't deserve this. So you're not used to a lot of attention. What are you used to? I like that. So you're you used to the assholes in your life. Oh, yes. So what oh. type of assholes you had in your life? Or like, how did they treat you? Could you like that shit? The worst. Um, <laughs> I... I I don't know how good this sounds. So pretty much from like 19 to 22, I would say, I loved the assholes. Like I loved them so much. Um, the worst people. that you treated me, the more I liked you. The worst? <laughs> yeah, no, like, seriously. They, like, huh? No, I'm so serious. Why would you like that? So I don't like, know. I don't know. Up, I just felt like they were upfront and honest with me. And I'm, I didn't want to guess or play games. So even though they were being an asshole, I'm like, I know that this is, you know, this how you feel. Yeah, he was honest. Yeah, he was honest. You can be honest and still be nice, too. Yeah, very true. Oh, absolutely. I've learned that now. But I'm saying right. back then, I was stuck in a cycle. That, that's no good, actually. At least you learned from that cycle. I learned from the cycle. I found me a good one. Right. So tell me what you think about these song lyrics. Yes. All right. There's always that one person that will always have your heart. <laughs> You've never seen it coming. He was blinded by the start. Usher voice. What are, you, what are your thoughts on those song lyrics? My boo. I love it. Um, I love that song. I agree with it. I, I think really, to be honest, like how I said that last guy kind of fucked me over. I wasn't dating anyone, but I was kind of seeing people. And the last guy really fucked me over, and I was done with guys. Like, I, I didn't go on any dates. I didn't respond to texts. I did not give a fuck about guys. Right. And you still and love then, him to this day. No, I hate oh. him. Um, <laughs> but, but so, it was right after I, like, rated off guys. I was like, I just literally want to be alone. I was, like, fine with being that lady who, like, adopted kids and, like, mm -hmm. or, like, cat lady. Oh, yeah, it was cool being the cat lady. I, like, came to the agreement where I was like, I'm gonna be the cat lady. And then, like, a week later, I met my baby. <laughs> so, I think that's right. So, like, you think exactly, you think it fits, it fits, oh, right, so it fits yes. your lifestyle. Yes. What do you think, Trey? Uh, shit, yeah, the people you never expect might be the ones that might last a while. So, yeah. I mean, I guess kind of. I mean, I don't. I don't necessarily agree with it. I mean, no, like, it, it's. It's. I, I mean, you can say that sometimes. It's a thing. It happens. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not gonna agree with that. I mean, I think. Um, I think you can kind of choose who you want to love. Like, I think that that line kind of says like you can't like you love this person, you can't really help it. I think you can kind of pick and choose who you want to love. Like, if I don't want to love this person, I'm not gonna love this person. Ain't, I mean, ain't no way around it. <laughs> That's just my views, though. Like. No, I don't know. I'm saying like people you never expect to be in your life for a minute might be there. Yeah. Yeah. No, I can cut them people off. <laughs> just is what it is. I can't. But that's just me. I don't mind letting go. Of them, I have uh, such a hard time ties. cutting people off. Oh, for real? Oh my gosh, I would like cry about it for the month. Yeah. Why? Yeah. It's it's hard. I've only really had to cut off a few people, but. I had a lot of help from friends. Or yeah, even like if a friend go. cuts you off. Have you ever had a friend cut you off? Shoot, and then they off reach the back <laughs> out to you? Facts. And then they reach back out to you? I don't like, know. Like the hardest well, dude, part of Well, I'm a guy. You know, guys, they get cut off and reach back out, you know, intermittently all the time. So yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm that's what niggas do. You might just see, check the temperature. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm seeing, I'm saying like cut you off. Like sent you a text like, hey, I don't want to be your friend. No, I, no, I'm telling you, like I've got sent that text. No, no, dudes who get cut off, girls are gonna start texting them. No, I've had girls tell me, hey, I don't know, like, leave me alone. Like, I don't wanna be cool with you no more. We're not doing this no more. You gotta give them a break for three three to six months. Then hit them up a couple times. See? Just check the temperature. Oh, really? 
Yeah, check the tip. They might not respond. They might be like, look, no, we ain't doing this, man. But every once in a while, they might give in because they might have been in the trash relationship with somebody else and, like, you might have not been that bad. Okay, I can see that. Yeah, no, dudes love just popping up out of nowhere with a text. Like, it's a whole meme about it, the future meme. Where it'd be like, you know, uh, Thanksgiving, you know, I really miss how. <laughs> oh, that stuff. Like, that's a real thing. Yeah, that's a real thing. Yeah, that's nigga, like, how many of your old dudes have reached out to you after, like, years or months? So many. I mean, that's a, that's a thing. All of them. Exactly. All of them. That's a thing. It is what it is. But Trey, what you got for Trey's keys to the game? Shit, since you got engaged pretty quickly, tell me the pro, three pros and three cons to uh, being engaged after like two months. Okay. One, I never have to second guess where I stand with him. Is that a pro or a con? Like, oh, a super pro. A super pro. Um... Yeah, I think that it's way better from the beginning to just let people know how you feel and what your intentions are. So that was good for me because I'm a big overthinker. So I didn't ask those questions like, do you still love me? Do you still want to be with me? Most women are overthinkers. Yeah, yeah. Um, Three of them? Yes. Okay. I'm kind of drunk, so I'm going to try to think. You took two shots. I'm going to be drunk. (laughs) I took like five. Um... Okay, let's see. So that's wonderful. Um, It's absolutely wonderful just to kind of like have that person. Like I said, I I never really had that person before, but just to have that person to come home to and be in your corner from the beginning. And then the last one is we just get to grow together. Like in even the last year, we've grown so much as people. Our careers have grown. Everything's grown. So it's kind of cool to have that be with one person. Do you think that you, that you've grown together because you've been together, or was this growth going to happen regardless? Oh yeah, um, grow. I think growth would have happened regardless. But I think us being together, it's happened like ten times faster mm. than what it would have. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Like three cons. Um, people have a lot to say about it. Like what do you mean? cynical people and kind of stuff like that. They think that we're really rushing or a lot of other things like that. <laughs> Wait, so people are cynical because they say that? <laughs> like when people say you got engaged after two months. Yeah, people are real cynical. That's not cynical. That's just their uh, opinion. Yeah, I mean that's their opinion. That doesn't make that's them like cynical. Like cynical. That means like mm. devious or. They have malicious intent. Or they don't... Or maybe you're saying that because they don't think you guys are going to last and shit. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Like, they're cynical as, like, they don't think we're going to last and kind of things like that. So, that's I still probably, think cynical is the wrong word, but continue. Okay, okay. Yeah. What's a better word? I'm just... They're, they're, they're being negative. Or they're, they're, yeah, they're being, being condescending, you know. Cynical is kind of... More condescending. Kind of a little different. It, but it's, like, foul intent, so they don't really... Yeah. Okay, yeah, I feel it. Yeah, not fall intent, just innocent. That's the only one I can think of right now. Mm-hmm. Y'all gotta give me a minute to think that's of only two kind. more. No, that's cool. That's the only kind you can think of. I mean, there shouldn't be many kinds, yeah, really. Yeah, every more pros than kinds, and that's a good thing. Mm-hmm. But let's go romantic and red flag. So you got your romantic and yeah, right your red flag, your flags. You might get a different heart and get a different yeah, animal on this stuff. <laughs> So, romantic or red flag? So, you know, you have an OnlyFans. What if your partner had an OnlyFans? Is that romantic or red flag? Your partner having an OnlyFans? I'd be fine with that. That's Why you say red flag, Trey? One of my homegirls do have an OnlyFans, but I have nothing against it. But for me personally, just be fully involved with you. Like, on that level, it ain't my cup of tea, personally. Why you say romantic? I don't know if romantic is the right word, but I don't see any problem with it. I think just because other people are seeing a side of you or your body or something like that, it doesn't take away the love that you're giving to your significant other. Oh, yeah, It doesn't make that any less. So I don't see any problem with it, but that's me. I'm pretty sure. You know, I say red flag just because I'm a private person. I like, you know, some dentists might want all that shit to be private. They ain't got to have it all out in the public, on a public platform. People all in their DMs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm pretty sure you got a lot of dudes in your DMs. I'll they, say Because you got OnlyFans, so they probably think they got a shot, don't they? 
I will say, once I got my OnlyFans, it was like a revolving door of people from everywhere trying to hit me up, thinking that that meant that me and my man weren't together anymore and a whole bunch of other stuff, so. Yeah, I don't think they care if y'all was together or not. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah positive they don't. They just try to see what the vibe is. <laughs> Check the temperature. Check the water. Yeah. This is what it is. Um, romantic or red flag. Um, planning a weekend getaway without your knowledge. So, like, your partner plans a weekend getaway without telling you anything. They just say, come on, let's go. And y'all go wherever. Oh, us go wherever or them go with someone else? Well, they're going with you. Oh. Oh, that's romantic. That's kind of cute. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go red flag. Y'all are going red yeah, I'm going red flag just because. What if you got stuff already yeah, to do? Like, I'm, I'm, I, I be having shit to do. If if you just know I, I don't never do shit with my life that different story. But I'm a man, like I, I be busy. So hindsight, yes, it would be cool, but I'm a busy guy. Like, okay. I need schedule. Are you? You gotta be like, are you busy this weekend? Then I'd be like, no. Well, okay, don't do shit that weekend, cause yeah, that'd be more understanding to me. Yeah, I'm more into yeah. planning stuff out, like. Yeah. I mean, you know. Or at least planning, like, don't be busy that day. Then you can plan around that shit. At least give me one day notice. Give it's me, still a surprise, then. Give me a week notice. It's still a surprise, then. Yeah, just, just be like, don't plan nothing for this day or this weekend. Why you say romantic? I think it's so romantic. Well, first of all, I hate planning things. It gives mm. me anxiety. I don't really, well. I don't really like planning things. So I will say that. But also, I feel like they could just, like, I don't think that anything in my life would really be that important that I wouldn't, so, that I would be upset with, like, so, going on a trip somewhere. Or if they call my boss or something and let them know, like, hey, just so you know, she's Yeah, don't call my boss. It's a red flag by itself. Don't call, don't call my job. What are you so, doing? So, your best friend I'm cutting you off for baby that. shower on a Saturday. You do, like. Well, they, he would know about that. No, Niggas be forgetting yeah. stuff. Maybe he forgot. Yeah, so, oh, we're going to be going, we're going to do this. Oh, what about my homegirl uh, baby shower? Or maybe he didn't think I mean, it was as important. So, so you'd rather be like, fuck your best friend baby shower, just go with your man. I don't have any pregnant best friends, so. I don't know, I can't, I can't really think of it like that. I can't think of anything in my life that I would be, like, pissed about missing to go on vacation. Mm. Vacation, that trumps <laughs> it. <laughs> Like, if it would have been that baby shot, I'd have been like, hey, sorry, girl. I went on a trip. I didn't know about it. He planned it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but either way, you don't like planning stuff. No. Because it, it drives you crazy. Yeah, it makes me anxious. So what you going to do for your wedding? Don't you got to plan that? <laughs> no, I'm telling you, it's hard. I'm, I'm trying to plan it, but I'm kind of trying to give things to my friends to take care of for me. So you think your friends are going to plan a wedding out like you wanted to? I don't really care that much like about it though to be mm. honest you're just happy about the title I just want married. people to like have a fun time and that's what I get anxious about like I threw a party like a long time ago like years ago cause I got nervous right um thank you I you wanna know who throws great parties who? Me and Trey, if you need a party planner, yeah, we, we can yeah, we can throw it together. Yeah. The, I just like the worry party. about if people are having a fun nah, time. Nah, we can make sure everybody so have like a blast. Make sure everybody person have running around. Yeah, we make sure everybody have a blast. Definition of fun. Yeah. Oh, oh wait, no one more romantic red flag. So romantic red flag. And this might be a uh, I don't know I don't know if this is a cultural thing or what, but <laughs> somebody else picks fixing your partner's place. So it's another girl, y'all. Eating somewhere and she making this plate. I'll kill a and she bitch. She bringing him a plate like. I'll kill a bitch unless it's. Oh, so, wait, say it again. somebody else fixing your partner's mama. plate. I. So for you to be another guy, you another making a girl dude, a plate. It was a, it was a female fixing my girl's plate, but not nah, another dude. Nah. What are they just trying to be helpful? Let's red flag regardless. Fuck that bitch. Oh, wait, is another <laughs> dude my family member? Hey, cause can you fix her plate real quick? It's just, I don't know. Let's just, yeah. Let's let's say now. Nah, let's say it's just a friend. This is a friend of somebody. <laughs> it's a definite nah. <laughs> I feel like it's a nah. Period. <laughs> What's wrong with it? I think that that's like a romantic thing. Fixing somebody's plate. Mm-hmm. Like I'm, I mean, like I'm like I'm your baby. I'm fixing you this plate. Like I want to make sure that you eat. I got friends you know? though. Unless you're like unless you're like an old auntie or something like that who's fixing the plate for everyone. That's fine. And, but like, 
And I got a friend like my African friend and shit. He had his girl fix me a plate before, so I can't. Right. So I can't say that's a fad. Like, yeah, because it's cultural. It's like, a, sometimes it's just good hospitality. Like yeah. y'all might go to somebody else's barbecue, and whoever barbecues, they just you know, yeah, they like so, y'all just walked in, they just fix y'all up. Yeah, I can't call it a flag. I I would fix someone's plate if I'm the host. Like that's I've done that before, but I'm saying like someone else fixing my baby's plate, I would fight them. You would fight them over that? <laughs> you gonna knock the plate over? You might not be fighting I wouldn't like fight them, but I'd be like, "Oh, it's cool. I got it. Like, let me do this." <laughs> so how would that? How let's let's play that out. So you y'all go sit down. I don't know where you see some girl fixing a plate. She's looking over at your guy, and then uh, she walks over with a plate. It's a full plate too. It's, it's hooked up. You know what I'm saying? She hand him a plate. <laughs> No, she'd be like, thank you, this is my plate. Then you probably give it to well, me. What would you do? Like, how would you really react in that situation in real life? She hands them the plate. Y'all sitting down on some, you know, some plastic wicker chairs in, the, in somebody's backyard. She hands them a plate and then glances Did over at you. Did she make me a plate, too? No, she only, had, she only got two hands because she bought him a water, too. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she bought him a plate. No, no, she, she bought him a plate and a mixed drink. His she was. <laughs> no, already. yeah, she already knew what it was. She already knew what it was. So, I mean, how would you react to that? She bought him a Hennessy and some Coke. People drink Hennessy and Cokes. People do. How would you react? Be like, damn, she a I, nice lady. I think at first I'd be like, damn, where's my plate, <laughs> or something like that. Like, I mean, what she was like? So you say, plate? you say, you say, damn, where's my plate? She said, oh, there's some more plates over there. <laughs> I don't know. I think I might just let him handle it. I don't know. I might just let him handle it. It would get. That's funny. That would be funny to me. That would be funny to watch. That would be funny to I watch. I hope it doesn't happen. I don't know what I do. Only time will tell. I don't know. But what I do know is that black men don't cheat. I don't know what race your fiance is, but black men He's don't black. cheat. Yeah, there we go. He's from Bermuda. Yeah, He's from Bermuda. Don't cheat. Black men don't cheat. It's been a wholesome podcast. Wavy trade. You appreciate you, Janessa, for coming through.